haven't done a video yet this week, so I will do an update. Just a general update. These guys are eating some breakfast. The big animals haven't been let out yet. It's still pretty early. I love it this time of day. It's cool and quiet. You can hear the birds. I just love it. We've been trying to um, breed these guys. I haven't tried in a couple days, so they may be ready now, but I guess we caught her on her off day. But she's still maybe too young, so we'll, we'll just keep trying, I guess. So, while I'm walking over here, I'm going to tell you, I have a lot of weight to lose, and I just recently started the ketogenic diet. I've done something similar before, just not as strict. And I have to say, I love it. From my highest weight, I've lost 17 pounds. And just on the ketogenic diet, I've lost, I think, 12 of that. And it's only been in about 12 days, something like that. Works out really well. Okay, so here's my cucumbers. I wanted to show you these first because, like, this is just in the last couple days. They've just gotten so, so huge. I've got to trellis these guys. Got to trellis them. They are getting so big. So these right here, I believe, are the dragon egg cucumbers. I don't see any on them yet. There may be a couple of them hiding in there. And then these guys over here, they're getting pretty big too. These are the uh, bait alpha cucumbers. My okra. I don't have very many of those in this location. But that one is getting pretty big. And that one there. It's getting up there. There's only two. And so this is going to be mostly an empty spot right here. My sweet potatoes. Two of them are doing fairly well. And I need to add some more dirt here. But the rest of them are all dead it looks like. So, yeah. Hopefully those two will keep going. Sunflowers getting bigger and bigger. Starting to grow heads on them. So I don't even know what kind these are because these are the ones <laughs> these are the ones that I showed in another video when they first sprouted. There was a whole big cluster of them. Um, one of the animals had gotten it on our porch and spilled a whole big bag of black sunflower seeds that we had bought for the rabbits. They spilled it everywhere and so they ate a bunch of them and the seeds germinated through their body. <laughs> they pooped them out and this is the result. They're actually all over the yard. So this is this is from our animals. They chose <laughs> they chose where to plant those. Big tall one over there. Right there. And they're everywhere. Some of them have been mowed down that are outside of the garden a little bit further but like there's even some some right there that I don't know if you can see those but a few that are a little smaller our suburbans giving us problems again but we just have to finish fixing the brakes and I think it's gonna be back in shape again these tomatoes are doing really well they just keep growing and growing and growing I haven't seen any, any actual tomatoes on these yet but you can see some blooms these are the red currant tomatoes. You can see some blooms right there. Lots of them. So those two right there that are really bushy are red currant tomatoes. They get really small. I mean, they don't they don't grow very big. And I, I looked on here yesterday real well, and I didn't see any other tomatoes yet. I covered up my fat baby choches, and I need to uncover them, I guess. Um, I don't know if they were not getting enough water or too much sun. Or what the deal was. I mean, they look really good. But these, you know, obviously they have holes in them. So I thought I'd kind of give them a little break from the sun. And they look like they're doing great. Actually, that is, a, is an Indian sour jerkin. But this one is um, Fat Baby Achocha. Okay, so real quick before my video gets stopped or whatever. It's kind of acting up. My okra. Seems like it's kind of growing slow, but maybe not. I mean, it is getting getting bigger. Hi, Jessica. Good morning. So, it's getting there. It's my ogre. Then we've got... 
Yep, okra. This is the three sisters. So it's got the squash, beans, and corn. There's the three sisters. Another row of it, different varieties. The watermelon's getting big. Um, I wish I had started all this a little bit earlier, but I'm not too worried about it because I know it'll catch up and it'll produce really well. I had three over here. I'm not sure what happened to the other two. They just disappeared one day. Maybe a bird or something. I don't know. So, still got four there. Three there. So I don't know what happened to those other two. Let's go let the big animals out. They're waiting for me. <laughs> or waiting for Jayla. Waiting for someone. Hi, Jubilee. Yesterday I took Miles to work. When I got back home, it was barely, barely starting to get light. And I went ahead and let them out. When I came in here, they were all still laying down, and I think they were surprised to see me. Hi, Daisy. Hey, y'all want out now? Hi, Peyton. All right, let me... There we go. There you go. Hey, girl. I sniff the camera. Ew, something's in your nose. That's yucky. Good morning, Peyton. He just wants me to pet him. He's climbing up in my lap. Good grief. Hey. Well, I guess that's about it for the for the update. I need to get some more cute videos of Peyton playing and all that. <laughs> he is nine and a half weeks old now. He's getting big. That's how fast they grow in two months. That's amazing. So... I don't know why they, why do they hit the mama's udders like that? That looks painful. Anyway, that's all. Can you say thanks for watching, Felicity? Say thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day.